Hey everybody, today we're going to do a little guitar lesson. This is Queens of the Stone Age, the Mosquito Song. It's a fun little song to play, it's not very hard. I'll say you don't have to be playing guitar a whole long time to, to pick this one up. You can show your friends and you can sound real moody and dark and sing along with the lyrics, which are pretty dark and about how life kind of just eats people up and chews them out. And, you know, basically destroys you, you know, from that small child that you were into a bitter adult that you will be or maybe that you already are. All right, let's get started. Now, first of all, this song is tuned to C standard on the album. But I've seen Josh Homme, or however his name is pronounced, I've seen him play it in E Standard Live. So just either way, you know, you can play it in a, a, any standard tuning you want, you know, and it'll sound good because it's just a good riff. And it goes like this. All right. I'm going to start with the A minor, do a little arpeggio like this. <laughs> Once you do that, you're going to do a little run here. You're going to go on the B string, open, and do a hammer-on to the first fret. Then you're going to go to the G string, open, hammer-on to the second fret. Then the D string, you're going to do a hammer-on onto the second fret, and then a pull-off back to open. It should sound like this. And let's put that together. Play along with me. All right. Once you get that, that's the hardest part of the song. So the rest should be pretty easy for you. We're just going to go right into C after that. We're going to do a C chord. I'm not going to tell y'all how to do the open chords. I, I figure y'all could either look them up or, or you probably already know them. But if you need help with this, uh, well... There's enough stuff online. You can get help. Anyways, let's go into it now. Then you're going to go into an E. All right, let's put that all together. A minor, a little bit of a run, C, and then E. did very good there. I'm proud of you. All right. Anyways, if you're going to be singing along with this song, and I, I really do hope you are, because you'll impress a lot of girls with this song. It might even creep a few out, but they'll probably still think you're pretty sexy, even if they're creeped out a little bit. And they might even identify with the lyrics and see past the pseudo-cannibalistic imagery. Anyways, when you're singing, I would just not worry about that little run that little because that can be kind of hard to to work on while you're while you're singing and you're trying to get your pitch right so i just play it like this <laughs> That's the first part. The second part isn't too hard either. We're just going to slide on over to the D chord. And then we're going to play like that. Then we're going to switch over to A. Then we're going to do our little run. The same little run that we've been doing. Then shoot on over to an E chord. Then back to an A minor. It sound like this all together now. Just like this. 
this into the first part again. Very good. You know what? I think before you know it, you'll be playing in a band and getting lots of tricks you know, having fun, and, um, you know, you might even develop a little bit of a drug habit, but you know what, life is all about struggles, as long as you don't take it too far, I think you might have a little bit of fun, alright, anyways, if you wanna, one last thing before we go now, if you wanna play along with the album, get your capo here, and you can just capo across the 8th fret here, and you just play the same thing, and it will be in tune with the album. It'll be an octave higher, though, but it'll still sound pretty good. Just tune down if you're a, a reckless fella or or gal. Anyways, I hope y'all have a good day and good night and a good life. And y'all keep rocking in the free world. Alright.